Hey guys, PlayStation Infinity here. In this video, we'll show all PSP users how to install custom firmware on PSP Firmware 6.39. And yes, that includes every single PSP that was ever made. So the PSP Go, PSP 3000, PSP 2000, PSP 1000, and all the submodels as well. Basically, the only requirement that you must meet is you have to be on the official 6.39 firmware. Now, obviously, this requirement isn't very hard to meet. All you have to do is update your PSP to firmware 6.39. If you're like me and you're not on 6.39 yet, as you can see, I'm on 6.38. I'll have an article down below, there will be a link, click on it and it will explain how to update to firmware 6.39. Real quick, I'm going to update my PSP to firmware 6.39 and I'll be right back. Okay, so my PSP has been updated to firmware 6.39 and we can go ahead and get started. So on our desktop we're going to need custom firmware 6.39 Pro Beta 6 fixed. Basically this version of Pro Beta 6 has been updated, a lot of bugs removed, it's more stable, and you're getting the latest and greatest custom firmware for your PSP. The link to the custom firmware can be found in the description down below, where a link to my site will take you to an in-depth guide as well as all of the links there. Now the file itself is a RAR file, so you will need WinRAR to extract it, and I will provide a link for WinRAR as well. Okay, so go ahead and open up the file. And in the meantime, plug in your PSP to your computer, enter USB connection, and we're going to open folder to view files, go into PSP, game, and go back to the WinRAR file, and we're going to drag in fast recovery and pro update. Don't worry about the SDK. I already have it in there, so I'm going to replace it, move and replace, move and replace. Okay, so once that's done, you can go ahead and click back, unplug. And we're going to head over to Game, System Storage, and if you have a PSP Go, that's System Storage. On any other PSP, that's your memory card. We're going to go down to the Genesis Background Pro Update. Click on it. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is press X. So go ahead and do that. And you'll notice all these lines. That means it's working. And press X to start the custom firmware. Okay, your PSP is going to reboot. Okay guys, that's it. You now have custom firmware running on your PSP. Now the only thing you need to remember is that this is not a permanent custom firmware, meaning if you reboot your PSP or your battery dies, you will have to go through another step in order to enable custom firmware again. And to do that, you'll just need to run fast recovery. And I'm going to do that real quick. Basically it reboots your PSP and in the process enables custom firmware again. Okay, so re-enabling custom firmware on your PSP is that simple. Also, if you guys are looking for a permanent custom firmware solution, I will have a video up very soon on how to do that, as well as more great PSP videos, so please subscribe. Also, rate this video if it helped, if you liked it. Don't forget to comment, and enjoy your modded PSP, guys. Have a great day.